What a freak! Jeez, look at that. Um, I'd like to know if you guys have any plans, like, to help your mothers out in the future now that, like, you'll be making a lot of money. What are you going to do for your moms? Are you going to let them pay their own bills, or will you do it for them? No. I'm gonna... Joe? No, I, I, um, I'd like to go the Elvis Presley route, you know, and, and buy my mom a big car one day, maybe, you know. But I got to get there first, so. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, all y'all rock star. Must you have the long hair over your face? <laughs> oh, the crash answer. His mom is uh, fondling him. Hi, Geraldo. I wanted to ask um, some of the mothers, and especially the mother on the end, if you're so opposed, Elizabeth, if you're so opposed to what your sons do for a living, um, what was your reasoning for stepping into a public forum like this to discuss it? Well, we all have a choice, and I had a choice to come on the show. Just because I don't like what he does doesn't mean I dislike him as a person. I love him. He's my son. And uh, if this is what he chooses to do, I accept it. Many of the mothers said that their sons and their groups were against drugs. What do you think about the follow followers who are into drugs? Daisy May, how about you? What was the question? What do you think of the... So, let's say the bands are all drug-free. Of course, that's not true, but let's say that every band represented today is, just theoretically. Still, many of the kids into this particular kind of music are involved in one level or another. The question was, how do you think about all of that fringe stuff that goes on? Are you, are you blaming the music for that? That's what they're asking. Many people do. Oh, I see. No, I, I don't like any of the drugs, of course, but I don't feel that it necessarily has to be because of the music. Uh, music to me is rhythm. I love rhythm. I love music, period. So I honestly don't know what I think or what you want me to say. <laughs> Either do I. <laughs> um, I'm, from a, I'm from a different generation, you know, with uh, Rolling Stones, the Beatles, so I'm not very familiar with the particular groups here. But if these are the good boys of uh, this type of, um, what is this called, hard rock, heavy, uh, metal. heavy metal, thank you. Uh, who is responsible for the sexist, racist uh, uh, lyrics that are coming out today, the suicidal lyrics? Uh, and what do you think about it? And what do you think about censorship? What do you think about ratings, uh, the, uh, the la labeling? Um, uh, All those questions, Steve, you can come up first, but in well, two minutes, I've got to take a break. Okay, hey. You have two minutes to think about it. Who saw Rock and Roll High School? That was a pretty good movie. They did the uh, scoring for the film Pet Cemetery, right? The Stephen King story. Yeah. So the, what was your inspiration? Was it, uh, was it really the Beatles? Um, mine? It was everything. It was all the best things that have gone down since the inception of rock and roll and, um, and life and living life and experiencing it and adventuring. It's everything, you know? Everything sort of is absorbed and the output is all unique sound and style and attitude. Are you married? Married? No. Do you think, will you be? I mean, will you have children? Yeah, well, I, I've, I've gotten a few offers uh, <laughs> for the years. But I kind of like this lifestyle. It's, Charlotte, uh, will you have grandchildren? I hope so. Uh, I have another son who's in music, too. And uh, he's married. <laughs> that might be the first grandchild. What about now, uh, Crash? You could tell me, tell us about the, the groupie scene. Be honest, be frank, fourth fourth right? Groupie scene. Uh, well, <laughs> there's plenty of them. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of them willing to do uh, pretty much anything. Um, we tend to draw a lot of groupies. I don't know why, but I guess uh, it's the feminine look, I guess, that we have here. But um, they come on the bus. They, 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 do, they do the dirty deed, and then they're out, you know? <laughs> I mean, if you, Elizabeth, if they're going to come on the bus, shocking. they know what they're in store for, you know? I'm not shocked. You're not shocked? I, but, you know, we're on national TV, and I don't want to broadcast it. <laughs> 
But it is, uh, I mean, how do you feel about it? What I don't know doesn't hurt me. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> Until that last comment he just made, I was going to say, my son is a drummer. And it's so encouraging to hear what the moms here have to say about their sons. But that was a little scary. But I really think because of the mothers, the way you're speaking about your children, I think that perhaps that's why they are the better groups or the clean-cut groups. Or I think if you love and support them, that's all you really have to do. And I'm glad to hear what you've had to say about your son. That's all fine, but wait a second. What about VD? What about AIDS? What about, you know, what about the downside of promiscuity? About, about the groupies? Well, you see, right here, you're, 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 doing it, you're doing it more than you are any other way. Bleep that, bleep that. I admit. Uh, this to me is really a cultural shock because I'm not exactly of your generation, but I admire these mothers. And I'm wondering where they came from to be a mother always loves, regardless of what, because I know. Okay, but to be, to, to uh, approve of this and to be supportive is a beautiful thing. However, you must admit it's not the norm of our culture of folkways and we are like we're trying to most of us don't even know what metal rock is i gather by the questions here i i've seen things being thrown around and i say is this a media of art I, a music i'm not sure but i will tolerate it i will uh, exactly and I, I i wonder about the mothers supporting this but the mothers who are so avant-garde did they come from New York? Another, whatever, <laughs> I, I have a, I, another, May not I, geographic question, Daisy May, but uh, this is for Mark, really. You were very ill some years back. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about that and about your parents' support? Well, it was, I guess, 86. I was touring with a band called Tower of Power, and I had kidney failure. Being a diabetic didn't help, but it was due to a small plane and air pressure. So I was on dialysis for about a year and then had some complications, lost a, a big toe, and uh, then I had a transplant about two years ago. And the whole while, she was right there. She left her home in South Dakota, which is where she comes from and where I came from. And uh, about out of 13 months, she probably spent six of them with me. My father, bless his heart, carried on back home doing things he had never done in 47 years of marriage. And she's the angel. She schlepped my wheelchair in and out of the car maybe 10 times in a day. And the same type of people, the same drummers, friends of mine, had a, an unbelievable benefit for me. And they all played and everybody donated everything. And it was a beautiful experience, these same kind of dreadful rock musicians, you know, that basically kept my ship afloat. It's that simple. And they, they, uh, there's nothing new here. When Elvis came out, Elvis the pelvis, they wouldn't shoot him from the waist down. Now they worship him, they won't let him go, you know? So maybe these guys got that to look forward to, you know? Nothing's new, it's, it's silly, you know? The Parents Music Resource Center, censorship, labeling, those things may be new. I didn't forget, Steve. Please deal with those, but we've got to take a break. Please.